Narahari Tirtha d. 1333 CE was a scholar and one of the disciples of Madhvacharya. He is considered to be the progenitor of the Haridasa movement along with Sripadaraja. Though only two of his scholarly works are extant, they are characterized by their verbosity and lack of digressions. A few songs of his survive under the nom de plume Rigukulatalaka. As a minister of considerable influence to the eastern Ganga rulers and later as the pontiff of Madhvacharya Mutt, Narahari converted the Simachalam temple into an educational establishment of renown and a religious center for Vaishnavism. <laughs> Life Nothing is known about his early life except that he served as a minister in the eastern Ganga kingdom in Kalinga modern-day Odisha and later as a regent in the stead of Narasimha Deva II before his ordination as a monk. Information about his life is derived from a hagiography called Narahariyadastatra, Narayana Pandita's Madhva Vijaya and inscriptions from the Srikormam and Simachalam temples, all of which attest to his regency. The inscriptions also allude to his expertise in scriptures and swordsmanship. Sharma conjectures from the presence and contents of the inscriptions that post-1281 CE he was the virtual overlord of the country. At the height of his power, he built the Yogananda Narasimha temple in Srikormam and defended the city from attacks of vandals. There is also evidence that he was patronized by Banudeva I and his ward Narasimha Deva II and also that he disseminated the philosophy of Madhva throughout Kalinga. His mortal remains rest at Charkratirta near Hampi. <laughs> <laughs> Works and legacy Narahari's treatise on the Gita Beshya of Madhva called Bhava Prakashika is considered to be an important work in the Dvaita canon, being referenced by Jayatirtha and Raghavendra Tirtha. Sharma notes that Narahari expands upon the obscure passages in the source text and directs polemical barbs against the commentaries by Sankara and Ramanuja. Though presumably not of Kannada origin, many of his works were in that language although only three of his compositions in Kannada survive. One. Narahari and Sripadaraja are considered to be the forerunners of the Haridasa movement by penning songs and hymns, mostly containing the teachings of Madhva in simplified terms and set to music in the vernacular Kannada language. Traditionally, Narahari is also considered to be the founder of Yakshagana and Bayalada, a dance form which still flourishes in parts of Karnataka and Kasargad in present-day Kerala. <laughs> Notes 1. Carat the songs are Yantu Maruladnananthu, Harya Idu Sarya and Harya Idu Sarya.